Welcome back to Metabolic Mind and the Metabolic Mind Award winners. At Metabolic Mind, we're working to revolutionize the treatment of mental illness by providing information and resources at the intersection of metabolic health and mental health. I'm Dr. Brett Schur, and today I'm excited to introduce you to the remaining 2022 Metabolic Mind Award recipients. Bazooki Group, launched by Jan Ellison Bazooki, along with her husband, Roblox founder and CEO David Bazooki, partnered with the Milken Institute Center for Strategic Philanthropy to launch the Metabolic Mind Awards program. And it was launched to honor clinicians working to advance the emerging field of metabolic psychiatry. So this year's award was for the use of ketogenic metabolic therapy in mental illness. And after a competitive application process, seven people each received awards. Now what's exciting is the awardees reflect an international group of clinicians and advocates and educators furthering the field of metabolic psychiatry. In our prior video, we introduced you to our Metabolic Mind Award recipients, Dr. Um, Chris Palmer, Dr. Georgia Ede, Dr. Ignacio Coranta, and Dr. Albert Danan. Now in today's video, it's an honor to share the incredible work being done by dietitians Beth Zupek Kanya and dietitian Denise Potter, and mental health counselor Nicole Laurent. But first, I want to remind everyone that our channel is for informational purposes only. We're not providing individual or group medical or healthcare advice or establishing a provider-patient relationship. Many of the interventions we discuss can have dramatic or potentially dangerous effects if done without proper supervision. Consult your healthcare provider before changing your lifestyle or medications. Now let's get to the award recipients. First, let's hear from Beth Zupek Kanya. Ms. Supek Kanya is a registered dietitian in the field of metabolic psychiatry and a consultant with the Charlie Foundation. She designed KetoDietCalculator.org, a free resource used by nutritionists and the public. She's written educational guides on ketogenic metabolic therapy for epilepsy and neurological disorders. She's created a training module to educate nutritionists and psychiatrists about ketogenic interventions, and she's a co-author of many scientific papers. So as you can see, she's got a lot of work she's been doing. Now, Here's Beth talking about her more than 30 years of experience with nutritional ketosis. Thank you. First of all, I feel quite honored to be amongst this group of people that were selected. But uh, I think one of the reasons I was um, chosen is because I've been doing this for a very long time, uh, over 30 years. And I started out working in pediatric epilepsy and um, with a, a pediatric hospital in my state of Wisconsin. And um, that's where I got hooked. I, it was really fascinating to me to see children who had been suffering with medication-resistant um, epilepsy really come alive on keto, and the majority of them had significant improvements. And um, I just knew that there had to be something with this that I needed to stay with and, and see forward and teach other people about it. And, uh, and so I, I was able to get involved in the medical community that works in epilepsy and not only pediatric epilepsy, but adult epilepsy as well. And um, got involved with, with starting up uh, global symposiums, which we now have every two years for keto in this realm and um, it's still going on. We started in 2008 and we're planning our next big meeting next year. So, uh, you know, just just from a clinical field to now teaching people globally and bringing people together that are like minded. And we flowed into other areas, including uh, mood disorders because of this work. She's truly a pioneer, having been in the field for more than 30 years. And as I said, with a long list of accomplishments. So very deserving for this award. Now next, let's hear from Beth's fellow dietitian, Denise Potter. Ms. Potter is a leading dietitian providing ketogenic metabolic therapy across multiple neurologic and metabolic conditions. In addition, she collaborated with Ms. Zupek Kanya to create the Ketogenic Therapeutics Mastery Courses, which have contributed to the modern framework for treating epilepsy and other psychiatric and neurologic conditions using this intervention. So let's hear from Denise. Wow, I've um, been working with ketogenic therapies for quite some time and with um, ketogenic therapies in the psychiatric community for several years now also. And that's um, between that and working on some educational programs for providers has, um, I think, been able to maybe create some attention. I'm in private practice 
And I've been doing that for that in itself for seven or eight years now. And I do one-on-one work with patients and clients. And what we'll do is start them on a, on a full program because the ketogenic therapy is not just a, here's your diet, here's your plan. And it's a, it's more, I like to do like at least 10 visits with people so we can start them, sustain them and follow through and give them time for the therapy to take, have impact. So we do that. And, and over time, the need has just grown so much in the psychiatric community and in other areas where the diet's proven helpful that now I have, you know, eight dietitians that work with me on this basis also because the, the need just continues to grow. So it's um, Ketogenic Therapeutics Mastery Courses, and we have, and it's an online program. We present it live um, periodically, and then it's also recorded so people can consume at any time. It's definitely geared toward clinicians, toward physicians and dietitians and nutritionists, nurses, pharmacists. Um, we don't deny entrance to anybody, to lay people as well, because we feel like that you know, may be beneficial, but it's marketed toward clinicians. And we have an advanced course where we go through all of the um, many different, well, I won't say all because I don't even know if we've hit all of the conditions where keto could be utilized Um, And then we have a foundational course, which if someone's not familiar, we highly recommend they go through a foundational course because it's really a deep dive into how to administer, monitor, and maintain. And last but certainly not least, let's meet licensed mental health counselor Nicole Laurent. Ms. Laurent is a licensed mental health counselor and founder of mentalhealthketo.com. She delivers ketogenic metabolic therapy to her clients with mood disorders has undertaken postgraduate training in nutrition and integrative health, and is engaged with the public through her blog, podcast appearance, and social media. So let's hear from Nicole. So I am a licensed mental health counselor, and I've been in private practice for 15 years. And the last five years of my work, I have been helping people transition into ketogenic diets for mental illness. And uh, the other thing that I have been doing is I've been writing a blog talking about the underlying mechanisms about ketogenic diets and how they influence some of the things we see in mental illness on a, on a biological level. So I've been uh, hurriedly but writing every weekend for a long time now uh, on my blog, mentalhealthketo.com. And then I also have been feeling really passionate about going on different podcasts and telling people about ketogenic diets as an option to help treat mental illness. Now, one thing I find so impactful with Nicole is as a therapist and mental health counselor, she's seen how nutritional ketosis allows her patients to participate more in therapy and get more out of their therapy sessions. So here's Nicole discussing how she uses therapy and how the combination of therapy plus nutritional ketosis can be a powerful combination. Therapy is life-changing for a lot of people, um, and it can really create a reduction in symptoms. So I, I like to use cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, EMDR, different modalities. And um, it, it's, it's crucial. It's really, really important. Um, therapy is hard work for people. It requires a lot of behavior changes um, and it requires, a, it requires homework. The kind of therapy I do, there's homework, there's worksheets, there's approaching things we don't want to approach. Um, and so when we do, when I do therapy with people, um, a lot of the times they, they, their symptoms improve. Um, when I do ketogenic diet and therapy together, I see an exponential improvement and increase in a reduction in symptoms. When we started to use ketogenic diets as a treatment for mental illness and for those diagnoses, I saw people's symptoms go down, um, less anxiety. Suddenly their motivation was higher. They had better energy. Um, life was manageable. And then what I was really excited about was once that happened, oh my goodness, they could make fantastic progress in therapy because therapy is hard work. Um, and it requires a lot of mental energy. And, um, I could just see people, just kind of be transformed with the combination of the two. So that made me really excited and that made me want to uh, spend more time educating people about it as an option. 
Now, as we heard in our prior video, the Metabolic Mind Award has the potential to be incredibly impactful for the field of metabolic psychiatry. So here's Nicole again, but this time talking about what it means to her to be recognized. I'm really excited that there are awards being given out for this. I was really surprised that one was being offered at all um, because I think that, I mean, an institute like the Milken Institute acknowledging that this is a thing and that this, this is an important field um, is really validating and really exciting and makes me super hopeful about the future of metabolic psychiatry and maybe metabolic neurology and all those pieces. So um, for me, it, it, it makes me feel what it does for my work is it makes me feel excited that progress is being made and it feels like a little bit of momentum is happening. And next, we're, we're going to hear more from Beth Zupek Kanya. Now, as we mentioned, she's been in the field for over 30 years, so it certainly changed over that time. She explains how she's noticed things change and, you know, how some frustrations still exist and as more change is definitely needed. Well, I, I have to say the change has been slow, really slow, and I'm uh, so happy to see the number of randomized controlled trials that are going on right now for psychiatric conditions because that is going to speed up the change even more. Um, but I have to tell you that the frustration, again, here I'm using the word frustration, is that there are now 13 randomized controlled trials in ketogenic metabolic therapy for epilepsy and still, to this day, it is not considered a standard of care for people that fail two or more medications. And, and that's really sad and just a poor commentary on, on our healthcare system. Okay, so we have to acknowledge that some frustrations still remain, much of it centering around the lack of information and understanding about the potential for improvement with nutritional ketosis. Here's Beth again. You know, if patients realize that... Um, psychiatric medications have adverse effects, and they're not always told this until they experience them. But if they were given an option, I think many of them, the majority of them, would try out a diet therapy. And it might be just a very simple, not even ketogenic diet, but a sugar-free whole foods diet, because we often see some improvement just taking that step. And that's such an interesting point. A full Ketogenic intervention may not be the right first step for everyone, but as Beth mentioned, just about everyone is likely to benefit by improving the quality of their diet. And why shouldn't that be part of the first-line treatment, both for epilepsy and for mental illness? Now, as the field has changed, so has the clinical practice of our award recipients. But one thing that seems constant is how incredibly motivating and rewarding it is seeing the progress from their clients and, and having had a hand in their success. So here's Denise again. I had somebody, I just told the story. They went from being basically, you know, I'll just say agoraphobic, you know, couldn't leave the home to after three months on the diet, he was saying, you know, I'm, I'm going to start going to the gym. And he was going for walks outside around the block. I'm like, this is great. This is, you know, this is awesome. Well, he didn't have a six, six months appointment. And then at nine months, he came back and he says, well, I just got back from skiing in Colorado and he lives in Michigan. Like you went skiing in Colorado? He's like, yeah, well, me and some friends, we went to Colorado and like you got in an airplane and you have friends. I mean, it was, I mean, you know, cause he was just isolated and like, wow, like I'm glad I went to work today. That was, you know, you just, it doesn't get better than that. Now, I think that's a great place to end today. Not, not only has metabolic nutritional treatments helped the lives of their clients, but it's also created a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment for them as providers. And that's such a powerful lesson that, that I just think we all need to walk away with a smile on our face with that. So, so thank you for watching and meeting our seven 2022 Metabolic Mind Award recipients who are among the most influential clinicians in metabolic psychiatry. We hope to bring you much more from these seven as well as other clinicians and scientists who are paving the way for a revolution in psychiatric care, bringing the focus to this important connection between metabolic and mental health.
Please remember our channel is for informational purposes only, okay? We're not providing group or individual medical or healthcare advice. And don't do any changes in your nutrition or your medications on your own. Please consult with your healthcare provider before making any of those changes. So if, as always though, if you found this helpful, please click the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and make sure to share this video with your family, your friends, and your healthcare providers so they can help spread our message to help as many people as possible. And also please leave a comment as we'd love to interact with you and hear from you and see what you found most helpful. All right, thanks a lot for joining us and we'll see you here next time at Metabolic Mind.